All right, in order to set up the network on the OTI 1084C, using a mouse, you can do all these functions with the buttons on the front of the recorder, but a mouse is a lot easier. Uh, to access the main menu, press the right mouse button, go to settings, go to network, and within this menu, uh, it prompts you, it says you're gonna need to reset uh, the DVR after applying any of these settings. That's done by disconnecting power to the DVR, uh, waiting for a few seconds until all the lights go off, and then reapplying power. Um, so you don't need to do that yet, but within this menu, you've got a couple of options. So under mode, you have access point, AP. You also have none, and you have auto. Uh, under auto, that's where you enter an existing network. So if you're in a business that has um, ABC business Wi-Fi, uh, that's where you would either enter that Wi-Fi uh, SSID, or you can use the scan button. And you can press the scan button and it'll search for available Wi-Fi networks. So for this particular area, I have super duper Wi-Fi. So you can connect to this or you can set up access point. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna set up access point. So right click to get out of that menu. Set up access point. Access point SSID, that's whatever you want. The default is Outland AP. Uh, and the default password is 12345678. It has to be eight digits or eight characters um, in order for this to work under the WPA2 uh, access point security method. So once you have that set up, you can change this to whatever you want. You can change this to whatever you want and you select configure AP. Once that's done, it's going to give you an IP address. You right click to get out of the menu, right click again to get out of that menu. You right click to get out of that menu. And now you need to restart the DVR. So just Unplug the power and wait a few seconds and plug it back in. Now that your DVR is booted back up, you can right click, go to system info and notice your IP address. In this case, it's 192.168.1.1. All right, we need to remember that number for the next step. All right, the next step of setting up the network on the DVR is to go to your PC, laptop, tablet, phone. It's all very similar settings. You need to connect to the DVR. So we should see the Outland AP, which is the network that we assigned on the DVR itself. Select Connect. Uh, I may have entered the password already, but if it's prompted to enter a password, it's 12345678 by default. Now it's gonna take a few moments to connect to the network. Um, after it connects, we're gonna use VLC Media Player to connect to the video. There's other programs that work. Uh, VLC, I like it. It works on Mac, Windows, Android, iPhone. Um, so for this example, I'm gonna be using that. All right, once it's connected, open VLC, go to media, open network stream. And again, I've already typed this in uh, previously, but it's RTSP colon slash slash and the IP address of a DVR. In this particular case, it's 192.168.1.1. And then your port address, which is also your channel number on your DVR. So channel one is 8554, channel two is 8555, three is 8556, and four is 8557. So let's use 8554 and then backslash. You have to have that backslash at the end of it or else it doesn't work. Um, so we'll hit play 
and it's connected. So I don't have any video here. You can't see anything but a black screen, but it is connected. You see the uh, time down in the bottom left, it is connected. Uh, now this works perfectly for a LAN network. So if you're on a LAN network, you're within the same network. Your computer that you're trying to view it on and the DVR is all within the same network. If you're trying to view this outside of the network, say for example, your DVR is in Louisiana and you're trying to view it in Vermont, uh, it's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, every network is going to be different. Uh, there's no way that I can walk you through that. Um, you're going to have to set up what's called port forwarding. Um, that will allow an outside device to access within your network. So if you don't know how to do that, that's something that you're going to have to get your IT person to set up for you. Or, um, you know, depending on where you're at, you may not be able to set it up at all, uh, depending on the security uh, parameters of your network. But other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just give us a call at Outland Technology.